Hello again, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and I'm back with another yarn review. Today we are looking at Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn from We Crochet and I've got two different colorways here. This is actually the Stroll Tonal Yarn which is a hand painted yarn and we've got the color Orbit Tonal but and a blue Yonder Tonal here on the top. Uh, really pretty subtle colors in this one. I love the colors in this one, but they're not, not as subtle as the first. And um, I'm always interested to see how these work up in a swatch. The yarn is very soft. Um, I think these would be really, really great for like a garment. And looks like there are 462 yards to a 100 gram hank of this yarn. And let's turn this over. It is a blend of 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. It's machine washable and you can throw this in the dryer on low. And for the swatch, uh, gauge swatches, you can get 21 to 32 single crochets in a four inch swatch made with B to E hooks. And for the knitters, we've got three, seven to eight stitches in a one inch gauge swatch made with needle sizes one through three. So, um, on their site, it looks like it's available. I think it's in 17 different colors I thought I saw um, when I was taking a look at these. And my, I, all of the tonal one, like pictures of the tonal yarn on their site looks, most of them look really subtle. So I think that the aim is it just to have slight color variations for interest throughout the project and to add some kind of depth, but not to be kind of really in your face. But these, in this hank here, we've got some blacks and, and purpley colors, and I think these will be really pretty. And I have an idea I might actually work up with these, but we will start with the swatches and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know how it works up. But really, like up front, it's really soft, and I'm really looking forward to working with it and see how it works. So I'll put you guys on hold for a second, and I'll be right back with those swatches. I am back with my swatches of the Stroll Tono and on my right here I have the, what was this colorway? The Blue Yonder and I believe this one was called Ice Yonder or something like that. Um, unfortunately I've lost the label for that one. But uh, on the left here I did a swatch using the basic stitches of starting with several rows here of single crochet, moving into half double and then double crochet. You can see the tonal variations throughout the swatch and, and it does give it a very pretty effect, especially when you're looking at it from a distance. So if you were using this for a wearable project, um, that effect would be really pretty in a larger piece. On my right here in the blue yonder, I did a uh, Tunisian swatch and I started here, I did half of it in Tunisian simple stitch and then the other half of it in the Tunisian knit stitch. Again, you can see those really pretty tonal variations and um, very fun to watch those uh, variations come out as you're working into the swatch. The yarn itself was absolute pleasure to work with. I didn't have any issues with any sort of splitting. Um, once I got past the foundation rows, which is something that is always a bit fiddly for me uh, when I'm working with fingering weight yarns, it was, it, you work through it really quickly. Now We Crochet has several different um, yarns in their Stroll line, um, and I've reviewed a few of them here, and one of which is the Stroll Fingering, uh, Stroll gr Gradient, okay, and this is the Stroll Tonal, and I just wanted to show you the difference. So this here is uh, from the camper van of the Stroll Gradients yarns, and then this strand next to it is also a Fingering White yarn, but that is the Stroll Tonal. So you can see that there's a very ob obvious difference to the thickness of the strand of the yarn with the uh, Stroll Tonal having a much plumper strand. I find this to be a little bit softer than the Gradient yarn. I did enjoy working with the Gradient yarn, but if I had to choose between the two, the Tonal would be my go-to. Really enjoyed this yarn. It's probably, in terms of all the fingering yarns, that I've tried from We Crochet, this is probably my second favorite. My first being the Muse hand painted fingering weight yarn that I reviewed here earlier uh, last month. So 
If you're interested in checking this yarn out, I will add the links in the description box for you. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking friends, and I'll see you next time.